Mm, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome, goddesses. Here you all come. Okay, Lily and Yolanda and Nicole, please take over the waiting room. I am so happy you're here. <clears throat> Look how punctual we are. It's actually still one minute to go, and we're already here. And this little one decided to come today too, right, Daisy? Where's Daisy? Mm -hmm. So our temple dog is here. I hope they're going to be well-behaved doggies now. Um, Let's ground down, shall we? Let's connect with our breath. Let's take a full breath in and out and in and out. With our third breath, let's drop into our heart, shall we? Take a full breath in and out. Rounding down into this present moment. Noticing those parts of our bodies that are connected to the ground. Let's take a breath into those parts of our bodies. Just noticing where we are right now. We're on all these different locations all over the planet. <laughs> and yet, right now, we're here all together. So as we breathe into those parts of our bodies, let's find stillness for the next breath. Just noticing where we are, knowing that all and any sounds that we can hear around us are just helping us to relax and to connect to our highest intelligence. So let's close our eyes if we're in a good, safe place right now and roll our eyes up as if we're looking through the crown of our heads. And then we say, even if I don't know how to be fully present, to show up fully and co-create the highest good for myself and all those around me, all I do know is it is so now. And I am fulfilled. I delete, delete, delete all that could stop me. And I download, download, download everything I need to do so now with grace, ease, and joy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it is. So it shall be. Or something even better. And then let's take one more precious breath together. Ah, and open our eyes and I am going to let her in and I'm going to spotlight myself if I can. Okay, let's let everyone in. Wow, we are growing like mushrooms, ladies. Do you know that? Do you know that in just a little bit over a year that we are gathering right now, I think we might be up to 18 months anniversary right now. We are over 2000 women. And we have been gathering every single week, not once, no, twice a week. We've been gathering in English. We have been gathering in German, all with the intention to create financial freedom. I know, that huge lofty goal. And we've been tuning in every single week into the vortex of this goddess circle that is so global. And we have been tapping into those topics, those sabotages, those struggles, those challenges, those things that we are dealing with on our way to expand. Because our mantra, I choose to expand into love, health, joy, success, abundance, freedom, oh, while I inspire those around me to do the same, that remains, right? But what's been kind of new is in the last month or so, we have been adding Lynn McTaggart's work to our great work. And we now have really, really exciting news. So this is a drum roll because I'm going to call in Yolanda, bring yourself into the spotlight with me. We have another medical miracle to celebrate. And this, as far as I'm counting, is at least the third. So hey, Yolanda. Hi. Good to have Hi, you. Oh, goddesses. <laughs> 
So yes, pray. Uh, do tell us what has happened just recently. Um, well, um, I don't know if everybody knows, but my husband, Robert, was suffering from a brain tumor. And we decided to not uh, do the chemotherapy and all this kind of stuff, but just uh, meditate. Um, and with the help of this circle and all the meditations and the alternative help of some great doctors, um, we just got very good news. But I would like Robert to tell yeah. this himself. <laughs> Robert, Robert, come on oh, in. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. So sometimes, on as you can see, we we get the male energy in here too. Uh, so, Robert. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Ray, tell us, what's the good news? What, well, what diagnosis did you get just yesterday? Um, we we <laughs> also are doing a... a, 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 a yeah, what frequency. You frequency therapy. And then they find out that the tumor in my head doesn't work anymore. There's no, no energy. There's no nothing working to get bigger or or or. Um, so this is the beginning of um, that it will. Um, well, how you say the it? Beginning uh, of a beautiful story. <laughs> it's the only thing. My words are a little bit difficult. I cannot find a lot of words. I understand. So let, let me let me help yeah. translate your words yeah. into my words, and maybe then there'll be words for everyone. So just so you understand, just a couple of months ago, Robert was diagnosed with a brain tumor, where the doctor said, you know, there's there's no hope here. You can do chemotherapy, radiotherapy, all that stuff, but basically this is just going to be something that keeps coming back. It's not healable. Um, but he didn't believe that, and nor did Yolanda. And they went on their own quest and did all these different things, many of the things that we're doing here. And especially they have been part of our intention work. So when we get together and we intend for someone, we've been intending for Robert big time. We've been praying for him. We've been doing all our stuff. And as of day before yesterday, he got the diagnosis that this cancer is no longer active. It's no longer growing. It's no longer doing what it should do it's actually going into the opposite That's direction. It. So we wanted to share that with you all goddesses because you were all part of that. Every okay. single one of you. And I want to thank you all of all your healing and your lovely uh, um, helping me. And every day I listen to Roy also two times a day. Roy's um, uh, meditation. Uh, make a healing and things like this. So uh, I feel really happy and um well, with all Bless. these lovely yeah. people around me, I feel blessed. Thank you. Thank you. So it, let me let me ask you something. You've said one thing that I'd like to, to piggyback on is yeah. because you just said Omega Healing. And some of you might not know what Omega Healing is. So for honestly, anyone, anyone struggling or challenged with any kind of dis-ease that's mm -hmm. in the physical form, I highly recommend the Omega Healing Training. I loved learning it myself. I apply it every day in my coachings, in, in my own work. Mm -hmm. So the Omega Healing Training is a training that you can do now. It's all online. But you can also train your brain with the Omega Healing audios. And those are audios, the 12 audios, actually 13 because the yeah. 13th one is one that is specifically designed for cancer. And Roy designed this method. I learned it too. We co-developed it into another version. And you can get this Omega Healing, this audio training that you basically sleep with um, yeah. in all the different shops that we have. So that's that. Um, what I'd love to know from you, Robert, is tell me about, you You shared in previous circles that, or I know through Yolanda, that in your meditations, you sometimes literally had the feeling that us goddesses were there with you. Can you tell us something about that? Because that really helps us know. Ah, yeah, yeah. The circle is there. Sometimes I feel it like this. And uh, also when I was in the, in the hospital, um, yeah, I got the feeling a, a lot of what I say, the people are are around me, helping me, and I feel them uh, really straight to to me, yeah. close to me, and um, uh, so I can can go up to this higher thing and say all to the hospital. You never will see me back. Thank you for for this. Uh, only for the operation, 
but never, this is it and you never will see me back. Wow. Okay. So as a coach, I'm really interested. Yeah. If you had to put the main lesson that this challenge has taught you into a sentence, what what is it that it has taught you? What have you learned? What do you know now that you wouldn't know if you didn't have this challenge? Just, just listen to yourself uh, and um, be happy who you are and... What's happening to me? I lose my um, is this in English? my traumas. My uh, think that I wasn't uh, very good in the past. Uh, what is that? Not good enough. That it wasn't good enough. And was it, was that a belief that you had? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But when I lose this, I also could lose. Yeah, no, no, the forgiveness. I give myself the forgiveness. And when this was happening, I also could give forgiveness to my parents and grandparents who did uh, not really nice things to me. <laughs> wow. So, so it gave me the feeling that my head was now empty and uh, open to. For the new. Yeah. So that takes me to the next question. What are you going to do with this energy that you've set free now with this experience that you've done? What are some of the things that you're noticing for the future that you would like now? Are there any new desires? Is there anything well, that's... I go go on painting. That's that's the, the thing for me most important. But also I want to um, all these feelings uh, which are closer to nature, closer to the god godness of god god feelings. Do something with it. I'm not okay. sure what, but I want to do something more than only um, painting and well selling the things and it, it doesn't matter anymore if I sell them or people like them or I just do it because I love to do it that's a good thing to do so yeah. I'm very curious what will unfold now for you thank you so much for taking the time to come in and share in person there's nothing like the actual person sharing the story and I look forward to all that we're going to hear from you and through Yolanda about you sure. so thank you yeah. thank you so much thank you very much Thank you to all, all the people are around. And uh, well, and thank all you. All the beautiful ladies. <laughs> yeah. We're so grateful that you're here. Really. <laughs> the goddess is in. So we'll yeah. let you go. You go do your yeah. thing. And thank you. <laughs> right. That was fun. So Nicole, Lily. The next one up actually is Nicole, who has another beautiful message to share with us. You had an experience the other day watching a movie that you were telling me about that sounds so inspiring that I, I feel you should tell us all about it. So could you go ahead and tell us about this must watch? Hello everyone, I'm still blown away. I had the news from Yolanda and Robert already a bit earlier and I was like, really, wow. And it fits actually perfect to what I wanted to share with you because it, it goes into the same direction. It goes in the direction of really believing in that, in your path and not letting anyone tell you it's different, right? If the doctors tell you you're going to die or this is never going to go away, just to have the strength and the support system around you, not only from maybe the physical world like humans, but maybe also from the natural world and that would be leading to the film I saw just last night together with my husband. And we were like, in the beginning, I thought, ah, from the like from the actor side, it's maybe not the best movie. Still, the message is so beautiful, and maybe some of you might also know it. It's um, it's called Dare to Be Wild in German. Dare it's, to be wild. Dare to be wild is already a nice uh, um, like wording and in German it's also a nice wording it says im Herzen wild I Im like Herzen. that too yes and you find it on YouTube we can also maybe put it in the newsletter then afterwards yeah. and what I didn't know it is a real story I only found out about it later and it's about a woman who is um, her name is Mary Reynolds and she is about now end of 40s now and she, in her 20s, she really, she grew up in Ireland and she was so connected to the fairy worlds and to the elves and 
uh, was growing up very much out in nature and she really saw this all and, and, and the film also shows it in the beginning. And then she continued doing this and she continued she drew amazing, you can see that in the film, she drew amazing garden, she made garden designs that were like beyond normal what you see nowadays, especially in the like English, British, <laughs> uh, like the gardens, you know, they have to be perfect and designed. But she has been working with all the wild flowers. There's the hawthorn is a very important um, um, bush in, in that in that film. And she is like in that whole film, you, you get the connection to nature and her belief in that she is connected to it and that it's giving her so much power that she can achieve anything. And she um, has a certain um, idea. She wants to go to the Chelsea Flower Show, which I didn't know about that it is. The big thing. The, the Chelsea thing. Flower Show is like the garden show of the British culture, I would say, yes. Yeah, apparently all over the world. It's the biggest one and you can hand in your designs and you might eventually succeed to be accepted, but not as a young girl in her 20s, right? They are very, like, very dedicated to have only, like, people who are really have been working for a long time and, and she still believes in it and you will see it in the film. She puts a sentence on her fridge, I am going to win the gold medal on that and it's so this film is having so many different sides it's the one thing is the connection to nature and the other part is really this intention setting but it came out of her you know intuition she just she saw it in front of her and and in that film you see she is not she is giving attention to it but then she's doing something something very crazy she is going to africa just a couple of weeks before the flower show starts and where she should actually put all the attention into it. So I was impressed by it because I thought sometimes you have to let go completely one idea and it can evolve. And on the other side, you're doing something meaningful on the other side and suddenly the energy comes into it. And I really, really liked it. And I, yeah, I can only recommend it. And after that, I was so excited that I um, I looked up Mary Reynolds and she is a garden queen, right? She is like one of the garden designers that is like working with all the wildflowers. Uh, and, and she has a, a project called The Ark. And she really wants to invite people to create gardens that are with wildflowers that are connected to nature and and the design is so different than normal gardens would be and i i was thinking oh my dream is to create a garden with her because and 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 this is like uh, uh, look it up because it's a whole movement she is inviting people she's giving advice you can if you have an idea even of a small garden she will give you advice for how to design it and um, maybe we can even invite her i was thinking to the circle. I am definitely in for inviting her. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so many ideas come through you just talking about it. Thank you so much for sharing it. Also mm. in such a graphic way, I'm, I'm seeing these wildflower gardens and it's giving me an inspiration <laughs> for my new garden, right, when I move in November to also, that's the kind of atmosphere I want to create there, a magical garden. That was one of my favorite books as a kid, The Secret mm. Garden. Actually, yes, that's what you're saying. She created atmosphere. And that's also something I, I think this is people come in and they might not even know what is happening, but you'll get embraced by it, right? And this is so beautiful. And, and yeah, yes. And, it, and, and also the time of the year now, we are in this time of the fall season where a lot of like uh, like you, you go to the market and you see all the richness of nature coming, right? It's this time of the year where I find it's very important to also cherish it and see us part of it. And, and she also says so nicely, don't see yourself as a gardener, just be a guardian of that space that you're creating. And uh, I, I really appreciate it that so much. Yes, I'm writing that down. Let's be guardians of our space. And that space is not only our 
physical space literally around us, our homes. It's also the space that we inhabit on this planet. And I like that, not just being gardeners working on it, right? And taming it to our desires, but being guardians of it by protecting it. And that reminds me of, of a beautiful book. Unfortunately, I can't remember the title right now that I read of an anthropologist who gave this whole theory that seemed so, made so much sense to me when I read it, saying that the problem that our world has right now is that we are lacking compassion as on a global scale. And we're particularly lacking compassion for our home, for our planet, for the earth. And he gives all this data showing that so much of the disconnection that we're experiencing right now happened when we started making nature our servant, right? And that happened when we started gathering in villages. We, we were no longer nomads going, you know, with the seasons moving from space to space, but kind of becoming, I'm here now, this is my house, this is my thing, right? And then we started trying to make nature somewhat something to deliver to us rather than working with nature and his whole theory is based on the fact that when we lose compassion for that that is feeding us for our mother then we have also lost compassion for humanity compassion for ourselves and I thought that's a very interesting theory and I love how you've brought that back in there that we we do have a lot of influence on the space literally just around us it starts with our own space, our bodies. We do have influence on that, right? How do we take care of our bodies? What do we feed it with? How do we rest? How do we take care of ourselves? But also, what does the space around us look like? And there, I, I'm really, I'm the one going to, when I go to people's places, I'm most interested in their bathroom because that's where you see it. What kind of hand soap do they have? I've been in beautiful spas and places all on natural wadi wada and organic here and there. And then you go to their toilets and they have the cheapest, ghastliest, toxic hand soap there. It's not congruent, right? So check out your own home space because we always want to reflect back to ourselves. And let's just ask ourselves, where could we have more, where could we be more guardians of our own space? Ask yourself that. If I knew, where could I improve that status of being a guardian? Is it the guardian of my own body? Is it the guardian of maybe clearer boundaries, relationships maybe, or communication? Um, guardian in how do, am I using the resources on this planet? Am I being wasteful or am I being conscious about it? Let's just do a little check-in. Um, I'm seeing a comment in the chat, watch the plants that grow spontaneous in your garden. They want to tell you something or they can also do something for your health. Absolutely, the signs are everywhere. Look at what's growing around you. Are things growing around you? Or is it a desert island where all plants are kind of hanging? Um, so I think that would be a cool thing to ask ourselves right now in our little mindfulness exercise. And I'm going to get the other goddesses in there now, because I think now is time, Lily. Um, what, what's coming up for you when you think of the guardian of your space? Unmute yourself, please, ladies. Yolanda, you two next. Lily, what comes up for you? If you... The word stewardship stewardship we're here to be the stewards of of the earth and i'm um, just thinking back to the international day of peace where i i processed the recording of our ringing the peace bell at the un and used the songs that the un choir in new york sang a week before but for the 21st of september and they changed the words to earth as our mother Whereas the song usually talks, the way I sing it in my community is God as our father, brothers all are we, or sisters all are we. And they sang earth as our mother, earth as our mother. And with that consciousness that, yes, we are born from this earth and we we are stewards, guardians, stewards. It, it's also in the Bible, God gave Adam and Eve, um, we call it three blessings. He said, be fruitful, multiply, and have dominion. And this have dominion was for Adam and Eve, the people living in this garden of paradise, to learn to take responsibility for that place that they were living in. And that to me is the same thing, the, the stewardship, the guardianship, which 
to a large extent, has gone extremely amiss in this 21st century and that we really absolutely need to get back to. Yes, yes, yes. Great input. Thank you. Yolanda, what about you? Yeah, something completely else. Yesterday, my neighbor asked me to, um, I'm in France, and this is a really, uh, there's nothing here, only nature, cows, uh, some cows, some horses, and nature, silence, a lot of stars. And she asked mm -hmm. me to uh, come with her to uh, a place where all the people um, were coming with little plants, plants to, to share. So everybody brings uh, trees and flowers and vegetables and all to grow because they say, yeah, one is good in growing this, one is good in growing that, and let's share it. And there were about uh, 50, 60 people and everybody was sharing their, uh, their plants with a very good uh, intention. And they know a, a lot of uh, healing plants, um, a lot of really, incredible and also the vegetables and all the seeds they were all sharing it and i thought wow this is such a small really small village and and 60 people come to do this this must be everywhere right yeah taking more care for for nature so yeah well and seeing nature as something so precious that is there to to gift another Right? Gifting another person a plant is yes. a beautiful thing. Um, yeah. Okay. So I feel we're ready for our process. What what intention are we going for? So are we going for the intention to be guardians of our space, loving guardians, wise guardians of our space, and see Earth as our mother? What 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 comes up, girls? What what are we gonna intend? We're happy and healthy, of course, completely, permanently, and immediately. And <laughs> and really feel the earth as our mother. And we know, feel, see, and hear earth yeah. as our mother. Hmm? See ourselves as guardians of the space. Lily, Nicole, we need one sentence, short and snappy. Mm -hmm. It's got to land with all of us. Welcome to Chet to share in the chat. So what sentence comes up for you? Because we all want to be congruent with it. This really wants to say, oh yeah, that's what I want. Um, give and receive, yeah. yes. Yeah. How about we live in, in perfect communion with earth as our mother? I like that. Yeah, that just came through. We live in perfect communion Perfect loving communion. It's just toss love in there, right? Loving communion with earth as our mother. Okay. Could one of you put that in the chat so we have it typed out too? Loving, perfect loving and harmonious communion. Okay. So I'll make it too long. I'll put that in word too, but then we're good, I think. Okay. So our intention is that we are completely, permanently, and immediately happy and healthy in all ways. And we live in perfect, loving, and harmonious communion with Earth as our mother. Yes, yes, yes. One goddess, or maybe two or three, go ahead and tap it into the comments and write it down. We all want to write it down. My intention is that I am completely, permanently, and immediately, happy and healthy in every way, and live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with Earth as my mother. I'm going to say it one more time. My intention is that I am completely, permanently, immediately happy and healthy in all ways and live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with Earth as my mother. So let me know in by a little wave of your hand if you've written that down, all goddesses want to have written it down. If you're intending with us, if not, you are free to leave at always. Wonderful, thank you, Nicole. Here we go. So once you've written down your intention, 
I have for this, I can only recommend, I have little intention books. I mean, I fill journals and journals, but I always write my intentions down because it's really nice to go back in time and, and check out. And I can only tell you ever since I went to the Heal Your Past retreat with Lynn McTaggart in Brighton Hall just recently, my intentions are coming through one after the other. It's like really, it's 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 crazy good. So I'm very happy we're doing this together because you're going to start noticing this for yourself too. Or maybe you already are. Then do share with us. And by the way, thank you so much for the emails that you send me where you give me feedback of, hey, this is happening for me or I'm so happy about this. And the feedback that you're giving us on the Golden Goddess Circles all makes our hearts sing. Right, you ladies? Everyone? Okay. So next, a timekeeper. Who of you three would like to do timekeeping? Anyone? Will you do it, Yolanda? Can you timekeep? I think we'll do seven minutes. We're in for seven minutes. Planet Earth, ourselves, we're worth seven minutes. Yeah? So let's get into state. Is everyone ready? Whenever you are ready, you need two hands. Get them up. Show me your hands. Everyone got hands? Everyone who's ready? Yes, yes, yes. Thank goodness we've all got hands. Okay. So we're going to start with the switch. We're going to do the switch and we're going to say... Even if I don't know how to be completely, immediately and permanently happy and healthy and live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with Earth as my mother, all I do know it is, it is so now, and I am fulfilled. I delete, delete, delete all that could stop me. And I download, download, download everything I need to do so now with grace and ease and joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it is, so it shall be, or something even better. One more breath. Underneath your left arm, watch out, left arm. Underneath your left arm, we're tapping our spleen meridian. And then we're saying, I live in perfect communion, in loving communion, in harmonious communion with Earth as my mother. And I am completely, immediately, and permanently happy and healthy now. And all parts of me agree. I release the doubt. I release the lack of self-confidence and all stories I might be telling myself because I know I am worth this. I'm a guardian of this earth. I am a steward. And breathe. Excellent. Thumbs. Let's activate our lung meridian. And then we again, we repeat our intention. I am. We are completely permanently and immediately happy and healthy. And we live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with Earth as our mother. And we release all grief, completely let it go. And we step into our power of joy. Yes, because we deserve to be happy, right, ladies? Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. Happy Earth, happy girl. Happy girl, happy Earth. That's right. And breathe. Breathe. That's my delightful daughter, Grace, coming in. If you heard some sound there, sorry about that. Okay, breathe. Okay, now underneath the collarbones, we're going to activate the kidney meridian. And we tune into all and any fear that might be lingering there. Let's just notice it. The fear of change, maybe fear of expansion, the fear of failure, the fear of humiliation, the fear of abandonment, whatever it is, just notice. And then you say, I love and accept myself with all and any fears at my deepest level. And from the very first time I felt scared. And now I choose to live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with earth as my mother because I am so brave. I've totally got this. I can do this. 
I will do this and I am doing this now and breathe. Liver, right side, watch out, liver, right side. Let's tap our liver. Mm -hmm. And then we say, all and any anger I may have, I love and accept myself. I forgive myself for all the mistakes I may have made, for all the times that I treated my mother in a bad way. I'm sorry, I forgive myself. And I now choose to be at peace to be at peace with myself and all those around me and to live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with earth as my mother. Yes, that's my choice. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we're gonna do this funky move. Remember, we're connecting heart and brain and we're cutting the links, okay? We're gonna cut the links to all and any timelines where we might have chosen differently. And now we're choosing you. So let's cut the links to the past, to the sabotage, to all that may be holding us back. And we say, I claim my power back. And I give you your power back. I claim my freedom back. And I give you your freedom back. I forgive you for all the pain and suffering you ever created. And I ask for forgiveness for any pain and suffering that I ever created. The past remains in the past. Only love can connect us. I wish you well, just as I wish myself well. And I live in perfect, loving, harmonious communion with Earth as my mother. And I am completely immediately and permanently happy and healthy in every way. Take one more breath. Tune into your heart, tune into your body and just notice, just notice what you notice and then say thank you to yourself. Say thank you to yourself for doing this right now. Say thank you to all those around you who just witnessed you doing this. We're all here together. And now let's move right into our intending. So Yolanda, could you time our seven minutes as of from now? And remember, ladies, we're all together in this circle. And we're just going to, in our minds, imagine that we're holding hands. We would, right? We'd hold hands. We'd connect. And we'd take a couple of breaths together. We're going to take three breaths together. And on our third breath, we're going to send out the intention. I'm going to repeat it three times. Okay, so let's take a full breath in. And out. And in. And out. And let's drop into our hearts. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, we send out the intention from our hearts that we are completely, immediately, and permanently happy and healthy in every way. And we live in perfect, harmonious and loving communion with Earth as our mother. Our intention is to be completely, immediately, and permanently happy and healthy in every way, and to live in perfect, harmonious, and loving communion with Earth as our mother. Our intention is to be completely permanently and immediately happy and healthy and to live in perfect loving and harmonious communion with earth as our mother and now as we send out this intention to stay in your heart see it 
feel it, know it. There'll be absolute silence. I'm going to mute my mic. And Yolanda is going to get us back into the here and now as we send out this powerful intention. Dear Goddesses, I welcome you back to the here and now. Take a deep breath in. Feel the wow. energy in your body. Move your body gently. Take a deep breath in. Thank you. 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 So how are we all feeling? Everybody back? How was it for you, Yolanda? Lily, unmute yourself. Nicole. How was those eight minutes went quicker than I thought? It felt much quicker. 
How was it for you? For me, uh, well, I was uh, <laughs> worrying about the time, but even then I felt so close. Well, I'm, I'm sitting on the ground uh, here in the, near in the nature and I feel really connected. Nice, nice. That looked really useful when you did it like that. I mean, it's the same feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah, I mean, that's like... We it's I've noticed when we intend together, I feel my brain goes even deeper than usual. It's like a drop into this very relaxed state. How about you, Lily? How was that for you? Very, very peaceful. And I was thinking it, with communion with Earth as our mother and really recognizing and going back to the text of the song as well, but also our identity as sisters as goddesses, mm. as these holy divine beings that that gave us, that, that that we are connected. And, yeah, I talked about the the difference, whether God is our father or earth is our mother, but it's, it's all one. We are one. And I really felt that, that oneness, that we are connected. Yeah. yeah, me too. Thank you. How about you, Nicola? I, I feel... The same. I realized um, in the beginning, I tried to remember the wording. <laughs> so I was more in my head. And then at a certain point, I just thought, I just go into the feeling of it, right? It's like mm. this feeling we want to create. And then suddenly it was like completely different. Nice. Really that, yeah. yeah. Gabriel is saying, my garden is happy. The earth sends us love. Very joyful. Caroline is saying, peaceful and grateful. Marianne is saying, I feel really connected with all of you and also with the earth. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's what this is about, right? And this is all of us together. So fun, so fun. So are there any questions? Now would be the time to ask it. Any comments, any feedback you want to give, put it in the chat, then we can still touch on that. If not, I would like to remind all those of you, say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the wonderful reviews you've been leaving on my book. 25 five-star reviews just on the German book. Whoop, whoop. The German book is soon going to overtake the English version and the Italian is growing too, so it's super fun. And I wanted to remind you that for all those of you who do leave me a five-star review, if you send me a screenshot of that review, you are invited to an exclusive masterclass just for the people who did that. And I'm going to be able to go into all of your questions and give you some extra tips and tricks and stuff. And we're going to attend together, of course. So if that's interesting to you, then go ahead and get my book, read it. You can only leave a review if you've bought the book. And I think that's fair because you can't just leave a review and you haven't even read the book. So yes, you do have to buy the book first. And then when Amazon knows, oh, she got a book, then you can leave a review. And if it's five star and you send it to me, then you're part of that masterclass. So thank you for that. And... I wanted to give you a little teaser. I had a wonderful conversation today with the beautiful Sonia Rossi from My Life. And guess what? Although, the, you're the first to know this, although My Life is no longer doing any in-person events, all live events no longer happening, the whole market is going towards online. Um, I, I did an audacious ask today when we were discussing my, you know, my commitment for 2024 or so with My Life. I said, yes, I totally understand that everything is online because that's kind of the dynamic of our society now, right? It's on demand right now and on the screen. I don't have to move my ass anywhere. And I said, that's true. And I've noticed that on the other side, there's a deep yearning for real meetings, gatherings, like retreats, where it's a small group of people where we really get to know each other, right? I'm seeing a lot of head nodding in the, in the, in the, in the audience. Thank you for that. So I suggested to Sonia and I said, hey, I totally get it. And would you host one goddess retreat, say in autumn 2024 in Italy, some amazing location? And she's going to discuss it with her team, of course. But it was a yes. So get ready for that. We might well have our goddess retreat 2024, at least one of them in Italy. So if that's exciting to you, then let me know. And yeah. Gather in more goddesses. Do remind your sisters that they're welcome to join us. You don't have to be here live. You get the recordings on YouTube anyway. And I'm hearing from many of those of you who just watched it on recording, you have the same effects. Why is that? Because time is an illusion. So 
Thank you so much for joining in. I am not seeing any questions in the chat. Any last words from you ladies that you would like to throw into the vortex and do that now? Nicole, Yolanda, Lily, unmute, say something. If not, I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I actually, uh, before that uh, um, session, uh, I, I drew a card from this, oops, no, it's not. Uh, You're going magic, to put it right in front of you. Magic, yeah, magic of the earth, uh, of these cards. And I drew uh, the <laughs> the lightning. And I was first, I was thinking, why the lightning now? <laughs> I wanted to have something more peaceful, you know, in the first moment. And then I thought, well, let's read what they say. It's, it's in German, so it's... Um, uh, bear with me. You do German, I'll do it in English. Yeah, uh, it says, Überall um uns herum ist Kraft. Everywhere around us is power. Sie ist in den Bergen. This power is in the mountains. In den Wiesen. In the meadows. Den Wolken. In the clouds. And, uh, und in jedem Ausdruck der Natur. And in every expression of nature. Doch es gibt kaum ein dramatischeres Phänomen der Naturkraft als der Blitz. But there's hardly any more kind of dramatic expression of nature than the lightning strike. Er elektrifiziert und durchzuckt äh, die Atmosphäre. Moves through the atmosphere. Auf so einzigartige Weise. Und auf so einzigartige Weise, dass es donnert. Und die Götter applaudieren. <laughs> In such an incredible way that it uh, there's thunder and the gods are applauding. Yes, I give, uh, the, there is more to it, and but the the the, the uh, essence in the end is diese Demonstration der Kraft der Schöpfung. This demonstration of power of creation erinnert uns immer wieder daran, dass wir die Natur nicht unter Kontrolle haben always reminds us we, that we do not control nature. Und wenn wir die Na Kraft der Natur mit offenen Herzen und offenem Geist wahrnehmen, But if we um, experience the power of nature with an open heart and mind, erkennen wir, dass sie weder destruktiv noch konstruktiv ist. We recognize that it's neither constructive nor destructive. Ja, yeah, sie ist einfach. It just is, yeah, just as love, right? It just is. That, and, and, and that I liked very much. I thought this was beautiful. Thank you. I'm just seeing Karen is saying she's living um, in, she lives in harmony with plants on earth. And she was just walking now in her garden when we started. And when you begin, I was just, she was planting a jasmine in her garden and getting it as a gift from a precious person for of a bed and breakfast in Santa Cloud. So we've, she was just planting and cutting her plants when we started the Golden Circle. And I was planting them when you started the Golden Circle, carrying the subject. How is this possible at the same time? Now, after the meditation, I was listening to the running water, smelling my garden and smelling the water molecules of my little fountain, so beautiful all together. Yes, that's gorgeous. Thank you. I love jasmine, that smell. I, I can literally imagine the smell of jasmine right now, right? So the, can you say the name of the card? Ah, yeah. again? Uh, uh, Magie der Erde in German. Oracle Magie cards. der Erde, the magic yeah. of the earth. The, of Stephen D. Farmer. <laughs> His we'll, name put is it, Farmer. we'll put it in the yeah, newsletter. We'll put it in the, in She'll the... send a picture and then you can check mm -hmm. it out. Okay. okay. So goddesses, let's rub our hands together. Feel gleeful for all the good that we've created together. And when I count to three, you're going to put these delicious hands on a part of your body that needs it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bless yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being part of this glorious gang. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. you thank you, Carl. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.